Working in neighborhoods where the homes are so closely together can be a trying experience. Parked cars, product deliveries, excavated material stored and hauled away, and aggregates can be the worst. That's why at-grade construction using screw-type pedestals is gaining popularity. In this box, I'm carrying the equivalent of tons of aggregate and stone. That means less traffic in the backyard. That means less cleanup. That means a win-win for the homeowner and contractor. You can see the damage to the yard. Homeowner's never gonna be happy with the repair. Very little sun gets into this area and it's impossible to irrigate four foot on either side as a foundation wall. And moving aggregates this close to utility lines can be slow and stressful. Pedestals are common in roof deck applications, but it doesn't take much creativity to see all the things you can do with them. Let's say you have an elevated ingress or egress into a house. Instead of filling that area with stone, you could elevate it with tall pedestals and build it out flat, basically a hollow raised patio. You could replace a wood deck with paving stones or concrete paving slabs like we have here. Or you could build a shower. You can see we're centered here. We're gonna have marble on our wall. That's gonna be beautiful. And this area will be a shower. Now, regardless of the fact that our entire pavement will be in a permeable application, this shower will simply not flow enough water in an open graded stone joint base and bedding application. So we're using pedestals, elevating them, channeling water to a drain, and then gapping those units off. Now we're using these copolymer polypropylene Buzon BC3 pedestals. They're 80% recycled content, which is great, and they're adjustable for height, they're adjustable for pattern, they're adjustable for joint width, they're UV resistant, they're salt resistant, great just like Teco Block products, and they're chemical resistant if you were running a chlorine pool, which we're not. The system is very simple. Once we, we pull this one out, we use the Buzon leveling system right here. The specialty tool is placed. We've already outlined that area. We move that until our bubble tells us how much pitch we have for the direction we want the water to go. We're set at two. You can see I've outlined that in two there. Put that circle. Now I can use my slope corrector and it is again adjustable. Swings both ways similar to a compass. I set two to two in that direction. That makes up for that imperfection in the concrete. Now I can set the base in place and there are multiple height bases. There are from barely any elevation up to elevations that can go as high as three, three and a half feet. You can see here, we even tied a couple of these couplers, heads and bases together in applications where we may be going at that elevation. This will be nice and stable. So we have our base in, we have our head on, and you can see it's a screw jack style. So I can adjust it minor that way. Now we do recommend use these shims, right? That will help seat the units as they go in, but they can also be used by doubling and tripling them up if there are major imperfections in that concrete. So we got this in place. Everything is square. We're nice and level. I think we're ready to go. You guys ready? Let's bring that first unit in. That's perfect. Our spacers are acting as alignment. We're still nice and level, I love that. Okay. We're good there. One more on that side. Still nice and level. This entire area will be bordered with our blue grande and beige cream in a smooth texture. That's gonna be a great contrast to our polished textured Blue Grande for our shower. Thanks guys.